Diane Worm here from bestwormcomposter.com. This is part five of the Worm Factory 360 review uh, and comparing it with the standard worm bin. So first things first, let's check on the worms, shall we? Here's the Worm Factory 360. Paper in the tops drying out. So I'm just gonna give it a little water over here and let it sink in while we're, uh, while we're looking at the worms. Okay. Looking good, let's find some worms. Oh, look at this. What have we got in here? Oh, some food, but other than that, oh, there we go. Some nice worm action. Fantastic. The soil doesn't seem too moist. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at all these. So there's still a little bit of food left from a week ago, but they certainly have made short work of what I put in last week. And last week I put in about a, a pound and a half of food. Um, so I'm gonna feed them again. This time I think I'm gonna do like a shallower layer. So, and then just make sure everything's well buried, of course. Oh, wow. Holy, holy wormage. Wow. Look at those guys going crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's still some stuff. It looks like maybe cabbage. Oh, there's some of the cart, uh, the paper from the bottom. So I think I might do this in a few different sections. I'll put a bit in here. So today's food, another good variety. I've got cantaloupe, uh, coffee grounds, eggshells, some lettuce, some carrot, bananas. Put this down in here. Cover it up really well. I'm feeding my worms once a week. I'm sure some people would argue that maybe that's not a good idea, but um, I really want to give them time to take care of it before I open the bin because I really don't want to have any fruit flies um, happening in my bin. And I figure the least, uh, the, the less I deal with it or mess with it, the less likely I'm going to have fruit flies. I'll put some in each corner of the bin. Bury it really well. There we go, there's an eggshell. Okay, that looks like that's gonna be great. Got great worm action. Like I was saying, it doesn't seem like the bin is too wet, which is making me happy. That's my, the thing I'm worried about the most is that them getting waterlogged. So, I've dampened my top, I'm gonna put that back on and let them do their thing and we'll check those again in a week. Over to the standard worm bin. Because of the lack of ventilation in this one, I am worried about how damp it's getting. Um, the top is getting a little dry. I wanna make sure that stays damp but that the contents aren't too wet. So let's have a look in here. Ooh, awesome, great worm action again. Look at them going nuts. There's still some pretty intact stuff in here from last time. Not sure if you can see this piece of lettuce here. It seems they haven't gotten to that yet, but I'm gonna feed them the same thing. Um, it's feeling a little bit damper than I'd like it, so I'm gonna add a little bit of bedding here. I'm using some recycled egg cartons. I also deal a lot with these in my videos on using coir, um, which we use for bedding here, but we can also use it for starting plants. So I do some work on that as well in my videos on coir. I'm just gonna add a little bit of newspaper and some egg, sh or some egg carton to this. I'm gonna mix it in to try and soak up any excess moisture that might be in here. Let's just bury this a bit reintroduce a little bit more air to the bottom as well. Oh, look at all those worms. Happy worms. Okay, then I'm gonna bury their food. Here we go. And hopefully in a week, they'll have dealt with this really, really well. Bury it all. Dun de dun. Oh, 
get it all nice and buried here. Oh, there's a nice yucky apple from last time. There we go. Put the lid back on. Nice damp. Now hopefully I've introduced a little bit more air to the bin and dried it out a little bit. We'll wait a week and we'll come back and see how the worms have made out. This is Diane Worm from bestwormcomposter.com. Uh, find all the rest of my videos on YouTube or on my website and we'll see you next time.